Okay, so I'm, I'm here with Edward Rangel. Um, Edward has been templating for how many years now? Ten years, roughly? Oh, no, about seven, something like that. About seven years and... Um, with see, the laser. With the laser. About before that? three more with the sticks. Oh, okay, so you've been templating yeah, for, for ten, ten years. years. Yeah, for ten years. Yeah, sure. Okay, and, and um, when you did stick templates, what, what were the biggest issues you had with them, getting them right? Well, the thing is, is that... Uh, you spend so much time trying to, you know, scrape walls and, you know, you use the knife, sometimes cut, cutting your fingers and uh, it takes too long and, you know, the jobs, they, they just don't fit that that well. Is it now, I hear a lot of people would say that it's because, it's because you make a stick template. Like you told me that one time when you had a nice bowed piece of Luan and you matched that little radius in the wall and then, yeah, the guy and, then and the guys at the shop made it a straight line. Follow it, yeah. yeah. And then when you went out there, you had to put the bow in the wall, and then the overhang was lost and, and yeah, scrapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, you know they they lost all that that money because uh, they they have to cut a new a new whole kitchen. And what would you say the scrap value difference is from from stick templating to digital templating with laser? Well, the thing is, is that uh, I, when I was working for for these people that uh, they have in a system, they was doing everything manual with, uh, you know, sticks and glue and whatever. Uh, they, they start having a lot, of, a lot of mistakes. So, you know, from one kitchen, I don't know, they lose all the money just in the material and then the money that are the guys that are, you know, they work. Do, no, in the beginning, whenever they, you cut in a kitchen, you gotta pay the guys to cut the kitchen and polish the edge right. and everything. If that kitchen is wrong, that is bad, it's garbage, right? You, you spend all that money in material, and the people that is, is building the countertop, and then the installers that go all the way there, you spend money in gas, in, you know, uh, in transportation, no, whatever. But, but what I'm trying to drive at is for the people who probably might be considering digital template. Let's say you did 10 kitchens with sticks and glue. How many of those kitchens could potentially be scrapped? Well, if you're good, I, I don't know, maybe in a week you do one or two mistakes or something like that, you know? It's not even it's not even you sometimes, it's that the people that is following your templates. So right? it's the second guy who gets yeah, to interpret you know, your template. Yeah, maybe you... you, you yeah, like the guy right, with the curve right. wall, you know, yeah. Yes, um, you made it right, but he didn't follow it, and therefore it's junk, and now you do another one. Or, you know, sometimes, it's a, lot of, a lot of times happen uh, whenever I was working for them that... Uh, you know the weather. I, I used to work. I, I used to use a truck to bring the pieces in, right? Mm -hmm. So it was it was bad weather. It was raining or whatever. You know the sticks wouldn't glue itself. So I I went back to the shop. See that I got a plan with the template. I I have to go back and risk that job because you know the template fall apart. Do you have any problems with them warping too? Yeah, you know it's it's, it's, it's all, all the time. Most of the time. So so back to back to the uh, the scrap ring. If, if you, let's say you scrap one out of ten kitchens with sticks and glue, how many could you do with the laser because there's not the second guy interpreting what you did? How many could you do without a, a mistake? I used to, I used to scrap like what, maybe four kitchens a day with the sticks and glue. Yeah. Uh, with this system, with the laser uh, templator, uh, I do sometimes nine, I do sometimes six, and it takes less time than you know, the, the four stick jobs. Yeah. Okay, so we got the labor. Okay, so your time. Now, I, I, Everett is now doing uh, a templating surface, a uh, service rather, where he will actually template it for multiple fabricators because he's that fast where he can do eight, ten a day. And a lot of, you know, he works for two or three fabricators yes. now. That, when that, one is not that busy, the other one is. So I'm yeah. always busy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and in terms of the quality work, you say you work for some guys that do things over a hundred dollars a foot. And some people down in the gutter with the rest of them, you know, yeah. at twenty, thirty dollars a foot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and but the but the the less expensive guys, like the box store guys, okay, okay. you know, they say, well, oh, all I need is a tape measure because it's a simple job, you know. But no, but you know, it, when you start doing, uh, you know, with, tape, with when you do it with tape measure or with 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 uh, glue sticks or whatever, okay, maybe you're gonna be able to save that piece. But then the installer they gotta spend another extra two hours trying to fix it. So yeah. is the is is the, the, the time that you pay to, to for two guys, yeah. you know, times I don't know how many kitchens yeah. they're doing that. So it saves you money. This system works like they the, the installer they just go, drop the countertops, 
put the splashes, that's it. They don't have to trim or cut or adjust anything. You know, it fits like a glove. What about um, um, when you say that, that digital templating is better? Well, how many, let's talk about that. How many kitchens have you actually templated with the laser? Well, uh, do, the, do, do the math, uh, you know, maybe six, seven kitchens a day for seven years or eight years with the... With the uh, we did that. It was like so 13,000 yeah, something. something like that. Something Out of the 13,000 kitchens, how many of the measurements, not necessarily somebody else that screwed something up, but how many would you have to replace? Well, maybe three. Out of 13,000? Out of the 13,000, like three that are they're, they're lost, the whole thing. There are obviously, you know, you know, the, you know. The adjustments or whatever, but the, yeah. it's, it's, it's really rare. It's really rare. So the national average, according to the MIA, for scrap rate in the country okay. is supposed to be from 3 to 5%. That means no, 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 no. I, you know, I, whenever I started in this company, that's a, it's one of the biggest fabricators in the Chicago area. They used to have that much mistake. With me, they lower it down to 0.03%. So a third of a percent. Come on, you know, you can you imagine how much money I save them? Because you know, I they switch yeah. over to the digital template, like you know, the laser. So if we took, um, I don't know, let's suppose it was a difference of, um, in that case, uh, if we listened to the national average of four percent, and you were doing, um, and you were doing, uh, let's say, ten kitchens a week, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so in that case, we would have. Um, 500 kitchens a year mm -hmm. times uh, 4%. Um, that's 20 kitchens. So what does it cost? You got the material, you got the it's, double it's, labor. You, what do you think? It uh, depends three, on the $4,000 a piece? It, 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 it varies because it depends on the material. If you got a really expensive slab, you lose a lot of money. You know, if you pay $5,000 for this slab, and then all the time that you spend to fabricate, and then the time that it's yeah. like easy, well, easy, like 10000 with something that expensive. If it's regular stone, like whatever, maybe about four or $5,000 just for one kitchen. So let's suppose you weren't doing a lot of expensive stuff and you, and you lost 5000 per kitchen, okay? Okay. So you lost 20 kitchens this year because you were doing 10 kitchens a week. That's $100,000. It's how easy. Um, and you say that now you're down to less than 1%, which would be like... Uh, you know, 100 would be one, would be 4,000 instead of 100,000. A lot of people think that, they say, oh, I can't afford the laser, it's too much money. No, but no, no, they're wrong. They, well, but they're it's, wrong it, we'd, like it. to, we'd like them to know that it's, that, that it's something that they almost can't afford. You know, it, it, it really bugs me when I hear people say, well, I've been doing it this way for 20 years, and you know, and that's the way you got to do it. But I'd hate yeah. to have a brain surgeon work on me that no, hasn't that, been that, that's a, what it is. a class that, in 20 years. You know, with this system, you as a company, look better because you've got the latest technology bringing it in current times, okay? Yeah, everybody tells me that we should be talking about that more. So what does the customer go, ooh, that's cool. Yeah, that's everybody cool. is surprised, you know, they think that the current tax is like the Flintstone, right? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> With this, you get there, you look so professional. So it built up your reputation, okay? Yeah. As a company, you says like, oh, the nice guy that, I, you know, they don't get cuts in the fingers and glue in the nails and everything. Well, the customers like all that stringy hat oh, going all over the house. Well, the yeah, you know, that, that's, uh, plus you do all the cutting or whatever, you know, you, you do garbage. With this, neat, you know, you get there, professional, you spend more time talking with the customer about detailing, not working on the car. Now, you've installed two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, so, I so uh, of the jobs that you had stick template, okay. or manual, we'll call it, or tape measure for that matter, um, um, what do you think would be the difference in time spent installing? In other words, are you going to be, if it's right and it fits, because you know, you'll see a lot of our videos that say it fits, it, it's on the money, we don't have to do nothing, we don't have to use tools. How much time did you usually spend Trying to you know cut drywall and you know and, and grind you know, I, corners and stuff and from a regular kitchen I guess uh, maybe 30 40 square feet right uh, if it fits right if you do it with this with the glow sticks usually you take what maybe two hours sometimes even you gotta adjust something you go all the way to four hours yeah. with this 
you, the only thing that you have to cut if you don't make, uh, make it to, to fit is splashes, and that's it. Usually, uh, a regular kitchen is like you go down to one hour to install it. It's that that easy. And then because so again, you know, if we want to talk about the labor, if we saved a couple hours on each job again, and we had ten kitchens a week, there's twenty hours. Even at twenty bucks, that's four hundred bucks well, a week. Remember, plus two because usually if you send yeah. two guys. So, so you got to remind me of all this good stuff that I don't know. <laughs> so, so then we would have two hours, four hours a job times 20, right? It's 80 hours a week, right? Yeah. 80 times 20 bucks, six, 600 hours <laughs> um, times a year, 31,000. So what we have on the on the uh, on the scrap, we had almost a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand plus ten. Hundred thirty-one. There you go. <laughs> We're getting there. So for all you guys that have ten kitchens a week, pay attention here. Now, off of that comes to the price of our laser, which is like thirteen thousand yeah. dollars. You know, but uh, just in the time that you save with the employees, with the installers, you can pay one of these easy. Yeah. If you don't do mistakes, you just adjusting the the current stuff with the, you know that you do a, a small mistake that you can save the the, the granite or whatever yeah, that they can spend fixing it there another extra two hours you pay for this right away you know just without mistakes just yeah. adjusting things now for the people i know you have cat experience because you had to have it because one of your one of your places you worked had yeah, they, they, and, and, and and you were taking stick templates and digitizing them right mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you had to put the digitized thing back into the cnc so it would run Whereas now this can go directly to the CNC and in some cases control the CNC's yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. tooling and everything. Um, Save a lot of time. So for the P, I, mean, I know it's hard for you to talk about a person who doesn't know CAM, but you've seen our new system with the Excel and the computer. It's so simple to use and yeah. Well, but for a person who has some CAD experience, um, you know that there's no icons to remember the, the symbols. If you just read English or Spanish, and yeah, yeah, and you go by colors or whatever. Yeah, like you kind of fix the colors in the new one. Now, I don't. I know you're not using yet because it's the protocol of the company you work for. The paperless feature where the customer signs uh, all of the all of the, the forms and the, the photographs and the um, uh, stuff like that. In fact, it was you would have mentioned the one about the the famous photograph where the the customer would put their hand on the slab on their big day and come out to okay it. they got their thumb up in the air and what was it a week later we're in here you court and, and, the, and the lady's complaining about the finish and the judge here says hey here you there. are with your finger up in the air you know <laughs> get out of my yeah, courtroom that's yeah. a good one all right so we talked a lot about money let's talk about some other products I know that um, um, that for a time you used uh, one of the photo systems okay? yes, yes and that was between right it was between sticks you went to the photo system because it was the only one on the market really at the yeah, time yeah and you used that for how long for like maybe what uh, two years something years. like that okay. well no yeah something like that two, two and years, i think two, we two, met two, your two. boss or something uh, at one of the trade shows and he bought this and he changed now well, tell me or tell the people who have a photo system what you think the difference is because you've used both the thing plus the first thing the most important thing the 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 photo system isn't that accurate it's like you know you 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 think that you're right but the installers they hate it because they always call me it's like oh what you know we gotta adjust this we gotta adjust that plus the time that you take to shoot the pictures to, to glue these stickers in the wall and then take them off and then put all the coded targets that you use whenever you use one of those systems you spend what maybe 20 you you can experience 20 30 minutes maybe you know to do all the shooting and everything right uh, and then you spend another 15 20 minutes Processing the job in the at the shop. You know, can you let's say you're with a photo system, you're on a job site, and you want to check a measurement. You can't. Like I know, you can't because it's, it's the, the only thing that you have is just the picture. You gotta process those pictures. What well, if I process them at the job site? Well, it's gonna take you, you know, 20, 20, uh, 30 minutes to, to process it. On top of and then, and then you you need to have a computer there. You know, to do that, you just can't do it. Okay, so hand. so let me get this straight. You, you process the pictures, and then you get what the point cluster, and then you connect that, and then yes. you can check a dimension. Okay. Well, in the way that, that you you use that system is that uh, you gotta take a uh, couple pictures from different angles. Yeah. Okay, if you're not that experienced, sometimes uh, you should one picture there and one picture there, but you don't have enough 
call the targets that are there in both pictures. So you're totally screwed because you have to go back and reshoot the whole kitchen because you didn't took enough pictures to do it. All right? So that's like I, like I told you, 30 minutes sometimes to shoot the thing, and then another 20, 30 minutes to process the job in the computer. And then it's when you start knowing if everything's gonna be okay. They, that, that software, they give you points. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you have to use any other CAD uh, software to fill up those points. To so a straight line from this point to that point. And then, you know, do the character, like the shape of the character. So you spend a lot of time just, you know, trying to make the system work plus isn't that accurate. So all the time that you're spending with that plus the, the character. But you made wrong. tops with that. But yeah. You was there, let me ask you this. Was the scrap rate from sticks and glue much different with the photo system? Not that much. No, no by, by much. It's just a small, a small margin of, of difference between the sticks and the template. But you know, I, so, I don't know. It's, it's, I think it depends depends in your point of view. If you think that a that a inch and a, an inch and three quarters overhang in one side, an inch and a half in the other side is okay. I guess everything is fine, right? <laughs> yeah. So well, yeah. And you've worked for a lot of different types of people, like you said. You worked for some guys that were a little bit more low end, and some guys that were really high end. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I know that you uh, and, and and Edward is one of the few guys uh, in the country really that actually puts a plotter in a van and, and for a fee, and you make money on yeah, that too, yeah, right? Yeah, for, sure. for a fee, he will show you exactly what this is going to look like and with the radiuses and the bump outs well, and the you know, I, I use that system just with this, in special occasions, it, even whenever the customer is so picky about <laughs> stuff, about shapes, and yeah, yeah. or the stone is really, really expensive that you, and nobody want to make it. <laughs> Nobody. It's like I heard. I heard that you're the only one they send out on a tough one. Yeah, because yeah, you use yeah. the laser, right? <laughs> no, that, that that's the thing. That's my my uh, advantage about everybody else. That uh, I can print a template. You know, go to the to the to the job site, right? Shoot the laser right away, about 10 15 minutes. Okay, go back to my my truck, send to print the template, come back with the template, try them on, make sure that everything is fine. If, if as a customer, are you like, do you like this? Do you like this overhang? Do you like this radius? And then make the customer sign the template. Yeah. So, you know, whenever they come back with the car tabs, if the customer says like, oh, I don't like, I don't like this. Well, you sign here. Yeah. Well, you know, on the, on the do software, I don't know if you use that not yet, but if you draw the CAD drawing on the software, she can sign each page. You know, well, she can sign off. Of, yeah, and on top of that, it's got a red line for, let's say, a double bullnose or a green line for a single polished edge. And she's signing off on that also. That that's something that I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start using really yeah. soon. <laughs> well, you just got that recently, yeah, yeah, so yeah. what the heck, yeah. Um, one other thing I want to talk about a little bit is um, um, now a lot of guys are afraid because they have a Templar who's working full time and he's doing let's say two three stick jobs a day, and if he does the laser and he could knock them all off in a day and a half, what's he do for the other three and a half days? Well, depends on how you run your company, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah some guys will say, "Well, I, he's gone. He's only part time now." Now that brings me to the fact that you had started a templating service. One of the few guys in the country started a templating service so that you could you could fill your whole day yeah, with work. Yeah. Now you you tell me that sometimes you know uh, you do more than others, but uh, put that in dollars because there's a lot of people out there now that run a, a woodworking shop, a corian shop. They can't afford the you know stone cutting and, and finishing equipment, and Oh, let's say at a carpet store, okay, and, and they say, well, gee, we could really sell granite if we just digitize with it and, and, and email the files to five fabricators who spent the millions yeah, of dollars yeah. for equipment. Well, it's, it's, and it's not even just for stone or for you. You can work with guys that are... Uh, oh, yeah, the window jobs and stuff. Like or, you know, they do glass doors that are they're really, you know, different shapes or, you know, they, they got it. Um, yeah, the, so anything. So you can digitalize everything and work for anybody that cut something, all yeah, right? Yeah. Or has so to template anything. That, yeah. That's why you fill up your day because you're not stuck with one guy. You work with different guys that are, if one is not that busy, the other one. Well, honestly, sometimes everybody's slow. It's when you do, what, maybe $500? When everybody's busy and you're like pulling your hair, so you got a lot, of, a lot of work to do, you do like $3,000 a week. 
you know. So as a di digital templating service, you can manage in today's market. And this is still hey. mid 2010. You can manage somewhere between 500 and three grand a week. Yes. Digital yes. template. Yes. And what do you? What's a rough price for per foot? You know, I know well, you go by foot. Right? I do. I do between three dollars to two fifty. It depends how you know the amount of square footage that you're gonna give. Or how much he's giving you? Well, you negotiate yeah, that with yeah. The I negotiate year. with him about you know if you're gonna give me two hundred square feet. Every day, I can give you two dollars and fifty. If you look, you give me one a week. Of course, I'm gonna charge you for three dollars, right? But as a company, they say a lot of money. It looks, it looks too expensive. But uh, you gotta count that. Uh, you, you're not paying for insurance. You're not paying for the car insurance. You're not paying for the car the gas. You know, the gas. You don't, you don't pay for anything, Perfect even for mistakes. Taxes, you're the, an independent contractor. The way that I work with these guys is that uh, we agree that uh, because I'm a subcontractor, if I make a mistake, all right, I pay you the material. So if I do a mistake, you don't lose that much money. You're going to just lose the money that you pay the guy to go there. Yeah, but if you're doing six, seven a day, you're doing 30, 35 kitchens a week. What happens if you do get one? You got to buy a top. Have you ever had to have that happen? Yeah, but uh, you, like I told you, there are three. One that uh, I it, 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 well three you know, and thirteen thousand. That that's what I'm saying. Is that uh, all the money that you already did? <laughs> <The> terrible. <laughs> all the money that you already did with all the, that time that you you yeah. didn't have any mistakes. Of course, you know you got a cushion there. You know but what happened on the three mistakes? What 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 actually caused that to happen? I mean, was it something you did uh, uh, on the uh, let's say how you reacted to the drawing, or was it how you shot it? Which one was it? No, no, no. It's it's it's, uh, it's my mistake. The machine doesn't do any no, mistake. No, no, no. What, what, how, what was the mistake like? What happened? Well, oh, uh, I forgot to add up the overhangs. The thing is, is that uh, in that time, it wasn't the beginning whenever I started the business because I didn't have uh, the system set up. All right. So your now pro your protocol. For yeah, you yeah. Things. Now you got you know uh, uh, the steps that you have to follow all the time, and then you don't commit that the same mistake that I did. You know now I do a, sketch, a rough sketch, and I you know put plus whatever I need to add because what I should is the ca the, the camera. Whenever you get on a on a camera tap that is already there, uh, an existing camera tap, you, you shoot the overhangs and you just fix whatever is the difference in overhang, right? It's less probability to have a mistake, but whenever you do a new kitchen that you should be cabinet, no overhang, you don't have any overhang there. Yeah. So you you got to add it up in the software of the machine. Well, I don't know if you know this because you're just getting familiar with the new software, but we have um, a new feature now called view measured points. Okay. So it shows where the laser hit on the cabinet base. So you could instantly see if you did add the overhang or not. That's a, that's a great idea. Uh, but that came me, from somebody else who suggested that. But believe me, it's, it's going to even save, you know, all those three mistakes that I did, it was in the beginning of whenever I started doing this yeah. thing. All right? So you learned about it. Now you, you, you know, you have job and you make sure that you don't do the, the same mistake. Yeah. So you're saying out of the 13,700 some odd kitchens you did with the laser, you had three mistakes that you paid for the material on. Yes. And, uh, but obviously that, you know, if you made, you got me going here. I'm thinking of doing this myself, but, you know, <laughs> let me get my calculator going here again. So if you make between 500 and 3,000, let's call it an average of? Uh, maybe 1,500. 1,500? Yeah, something like that. Three, three when 6, 6,000. Whenever you come back to your house at what, maybe one o'clock, you know, finish. Oh, so it's for the first half of the day. Yeah. So you're making 72 grand on an average work until noon. Something like that, yeah. You want to trade? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know how to use it, so you can start yeah, your own business kidding. doing that. Well, uh, our problem is we need to get what's in your head into our customers' heads because I'm a salesman. Okay? Yeah. And, and they tend not to believe when I tell them it's going to be great to go, yeah, right. You know, you know. But if they we can get, come and see me anytime, and they can go with me to the job. And, you know, whenever I can show them my invoices and everything, if they don't believe me, yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, I got a, a good business here and, uh, you know, I, in, until I keep using your system, they're going to keep doing money, you know, so and 13, saving money to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> 13,700 kitchens, three mistakes, not bad, I can believe that. Good. And that means that the, 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 that the fabricators 
had no uh, other than their la extra labor on the second three kitchens on a thirteen thousand. Yes, that's it. It's all, all all the money that they have to spend just that little. 